<coughs> Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is continue with my series on dialogue. Uh, I know some people have been asking for companions, but there's just so much new stuff to companions that I'm still kind of working through it. And I might do a like a basic companion earlier than doing a full companion, but for the time being I want to show as much as I can about dialogue so that then that can like lead into making my companion like easier without me having to demonstrate you know new stuff while I'm also trying to demonstrate a companion. So what I'm going to do in this one is show a more branching conversation, whereas in our previous tutorials I've created this very linear conversation. We're going to create so um, a slightly more diverse one. So let's imagine that you've got a whole bunch of responses and you want each one to lead to a radically different solution. Because whereas here he has like a different response every time, ultimately he makes his way to an identical response and you get new responses and none of this matters. But if you want your dialogue to actually change uh, what happens, you're going to have to create whole new scenes. So to begin with, I'm just going to change it so that um, positive and negative uh, don't end the conversation anymore. So I'm going to uncheck the end running scene and uncheck end running scene like this. And when we're going to create a whole new scene here, I'm just going to call it sudden scene 2, like this. And I'm just going to give these indexes now, which are mainly to prompt us what, what order they come in about me having to highlight. So I'm going to give index 10 and our new scene index 20. So now we'll know that number 10 comes before number 20. So we're going to want player dialogue in it again. So we'll check the player dialogue thing. And we're going to right click new actor and I'll select the alias of the NPC we created in earlier tutorials. Um, but we don't, well, we can just ignore this start phase thing. Um, we're going to add phase end and double click and give it a name uh, mean phase. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have, if a player is mean, we're going to launch a whole new stream of dialogue about how mean the player is. But if a player is nice, we can continue on into a new set of dialogue on this side. Let's start off by making our dialogue. New action, dialogue. And it can just be basic dialogue because there's not going to be any choices. Uh, right click new, and then double click in it, and we're going to say, Hey, how could you be so mean? And okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to said and scene one. And if we check um where's it gone? Show scene links here. We can see how these are all linked together. And the way this these are links we made in a previous tutorial but are already here. So the question one links right back to the start as we established. The random ones link right back to the start as we established. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this ugly one, because that was pretty harsh. I'm just going to edit so that he just says, that was pretty harsh, okay. And now we're going to go to scene, set in scene 2, at mean phase, okay. So now we can see this blue arrow has appeared, and it's going down to under here, set in scene 2, mean phase. So we can travel to set in scene 2, and mean phase. I'll get rid of a hey, because that won't flow very well with what he said in the last one. How could you be so mean? And we're going to add a phase at end. Um, we probably don't need to name it. So we're going to add some player dialogue here now. Because we're going to give a player a chance to redeem themselves for having been so mean. So let's say... Sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. And in this one, we're going to say we don't need a prompt. You better be. Now I'm going to give you another chance. What do you think of my looks? Okay, okay. And so let me just check, yep, yeah, question phase. So what we're going to do is have this one return ourselves back to the beginning. So if we go to scene, set in scene 02, sorry, set in scene 01, we can select question phase. 
and we'll see a blue arrow has appeared to question phase. So the way this conversation will run is if you choose um, anything except fuck you, if you choose to ask him his name, he'll say, my name's Seddon4494, but some people call me Seddon. Now that's over, what do you think of my looks? You're pretty ugly. We'll then appear at Seddon Mean phase. And then um, he'll say, how could you be so mean? Uh, you're right, I'm sorry. You better be, I'll give you another chance to say what you think of my looks. We link ourselves back to question phase, so we begin... We begin here, so the player will have another chance to be nice. But if we want to carry that on, we can put... Um, how could you be so mean? Uh, I'll just double-click into action 2, because this brings up the whole thing. Um, it's not mean if it's true. Okay. And now I'm going to have this one end the running scene. So I'm going to put a response in. Right. That's it. I've had enough of you. And he'll kick the player out. And we'll put a new... What can the, what can the player say that's neutral? Um. Uh. Sorry, I won't take it back though. And I'll have a. So we have to put this in. Sorry, I won't take it back though. And then the NPC can say, I suppose you're entitled. to your opinion. And then we'll have a question. Why are you so bothered? Okay. And I'll have him say I'm very sensitive. I'm very sensitive about how I look. All right, and let's have this one loop back to Sedencino Two. Uh, we will rename this phase. I'll call it Redemption Phase because, I'm, and I'm now going to need to click out of everything. So let's have I'm very sensitive about my looks. Link back to redemption phase. So this one will permanent. If you say that, it'll permanently loop. If we say this one, it'll end the conversation. And now we can just go on and on and on and on, and like add a, another phase at the end. Add a new phase at the end. We can have some new dialogue for him to say. So we can just keep on and on and on, repeating this process that I've demonstrated. But there's no point in me going over and over and over because I've really hammered home uh, in these last few tu tutorials how to set up a dialogue scene. And we could we could take it even further if you wanted. We could create a third scene, and link any of these dialogue up to the third scene. Create a fourth or fifth scene, and any of them can link to any of them, providing you follow. You make sure that you name any phase that uh, you want to link to. It's got to have a name. I've found, and uh, you can just you can just go backwards and forwards pretty much constantly. So I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate my flow of scenes working now. Okay, so we are in the uh, Fallout world once again with our NPC. Let's go up to him and speak to him. <coughs> Hello, I'm an NPC. Uh, what is your name? That'll take us on to the Lux phase. Oh, my name is Seddon4494, but some people call me Seddon. Now that's all over. Can you tell me what you think of my looks? So we're going to be mean to him to trigger our uh, our new... Uh, extra branch. Uh, you're pretty ugly. That was pretty harsh. How could you be so mean? Uh, so we'll give him a legit. Well, let's ask him why he's bothered so we can demonstrate it looping. Why are you so bothered? I'm very sensitive about how I look, alright? I mean, he does look pretty ugly. Like, the goggles are what makes him really ugly. 
So let's give him a legitimate apology, which was just sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. You better be. Now I'm going to give you another chance. What do you think of my looks? Let's take it as time with this. There we go. So now we, we'll just say, you're all right. Okay, thanks, I guess. See you later. So, there's w really only one more dialogue tutorial I could do, which would be how to have another NPC interject into a conversation. But uh, this is, I mean, this is probably pretty much it for dialogue. I mean, I've demonstrated most of what there is to do. And I'll, I'll also do one for lip sync, because this uh, creation kit is a little bit messed up, and uh, it won't let you do it uh, properly. So I'll do one for that. And then uh, I'll, I will get to companions eventually. I know a lot of people have been asking me, but I want to gradually build up my tutorials so then all the individual components will be there, and we can put everything in and make a companion tutorial. And they are like so much more complicated than followers in other game in uh, the other games. So um, I hope that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. That one's all yours.